Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascender Divination Priestess channel. Uh, real quickly before I forget, um, I had a dream the other night. I think this was like maybe five nights ago or maybe less. Um, there's a young gentleman that is being sent to someone. This is someone, this is a, uh, like a Knight of Cups kind of energy. Um, he comes across as very shy uh kind of a bit of a recluse but i don't think he really is um i don't think someone is like like this is not someone that's like uh that has malicious intent but there's someone being sent towards you to give you some type of offer this is not a genuine offer it's almost like let's say you worked in a company before and maybe the employees within that company were really malicious towards you. Like they maybe bully you or outcasted you or something of that nature, right? And maybe you ended up getting either fired or you left the, the company or something like that. So you don't have like a good rapport with these people. You don't have any fun memories being in this community. What they're trying to do is find somebody within that company that you possibly have some type of good rapport with. So someone maybe you have some type of friendship with, uh, whether it be professional or personal. So they're going through their list of people and maybe they came across this masculine this knight of cups and they said oh well she used to talk to this person he used to talk to this person right uh they seem very close when when she was here when he was here uh so we can send him to come in and give her an offer to give him an offer but this is not something genuine there's some type of malicious intent behind why this person is being sent towards you he may not even be uh involved in what these people are doing or he's aware of it and he's okay with what it is they've been doing but he's being paid it's a queen of pentacles that's paying this man to come towards you to give you some type of offer it's supposed to be i don't know if it's like a job position if you accept the position from these people it is meant to trap you within this organization in this position um so you will basically be like a a, a energy food for these people there'll be energy harvesting off of you for a very long time so be very cautious there's something where a queen of pentacles within an organization is very sinister the way she moves uh the way she goes about business um and there's something where it's like these people whatever kind of investment investments um they do they're kind of playing russian roulette they don't have they don't really have like an inside perspective or they don't have like, that higher knowing. Even if like they use a, 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 a practitioner to tell them what investments they should uh, uh, put money into or what kind of business move they should make, whoever they're using doesn't really give them the answer that they need. Um, it's really just pretending to know what it is they're doing. So uh, if it's something like that, they don't have like a good a uh, person in their corner to tell them, hey, don't invest in this business, don't do that. It's not going to be a good return on investment. But they now know something that maybe you have some type of inside, uh, insider, like you have some type of ability or skill or something. You could be someone that's good at investing or you could be someone that's a, a reader, a practitioner, and you may have like some type of gift that can help these people. So they're trying to extend some type of olive branch to you, but there's an ulterior motive behind that olive branch. It's to trap you in some type of position. Also, the position that they are trying to give you is not even solid. It's fictitious, right? It's not a real job position. So it could be like almost for some of you, they're sending your twin flame that may have, may have already fallen from grace a long time ago was more than likely initiated into something and he's been sent to you to mislead you to give you this offer that's not leading anywhere so be very cautious if you know a masculine like it's like a he's not younger he's not young but he comes as curse as being very young uh maybe in like his 30s maybe early 40s something like that but he comes across as very youthful uh nonchalant uh doesn't really yell or anything like that like someone is very like nonchalant like not reactive and things like that right has a little bit of a shy energy to him and i don't know if he's particularly shy or he's just 
That's just how he carries himself. But he's aware of what has been going on with you in what whoever this Queen of Pentacles is or whoever this group is. And they are sending him to you to give you this fictitious offer. And if you accept it, you are binded to something with these people that you have no business being binded to. What I'm also picking up is that these people know that there is another company that wants to give you an offer. And what it is they're trying to do is get to you before the legitimate company gets to you and gives you an offer. So they're trying to beat either like someone of high honor, they're trying to beat the court system or something like that. Some type of a uh, very legit position that's going to make a change in your life. They're trying to beat that offer. So if they come in and you sign a contract with them or you make an agreement with them, then you're not able to accept an offer from the person that's in the upright, someone that's actually been trying to find a way to get in contact with you uh, because they want to work with you, right? They're trying to balance things out with you. They know you are someone that's very gifted or very skilled at what you do, and they feel like they will benefit from having some type of collaboration with you so be very cautious about any masculine coming from a company you used to work work for um to be your friend he's not really a friend he's being paid to come towards you i am not picking up on an older gentleman this person is whoever is coming towards you is no more than 40 42 something like that no more than 42 years old coming towards you to give you an offer. Uh, so just be very cautious. He's being sent by a queen of pentacles and this is something they are doing discreetly. It's like, I need you to go to this queen, to this queen of, you will be a queen of pentacles yourself or this high priestess or this empress energy. And I need you to be their friend. See if you can talk to them into coming back to the company. We really need them. But what they need you for is your gift, your energy to misuse what it is you can do. Like think of uh, someone like me that does divination. And it's okay if people don't believe in it, right? But people find out that I actually am gifted, right? Um, and they send someone towards me to come and give me an offer. And instead of me looking into the energy, I see this ridiculous amount of money on paper and I end up accepting that offer only to realize that I bonded myself to a toxic community and I'm probably trapped in this contract for however long, right? It is something like that. Like don't see the, the financial figure, don't see the money on there and then and assigning a contract with these people, there is some type of malicious intent to play with your destiny, to steal your destiny. They want to keep you burdened, okay? Try to keep, make it hard for you to connect with someone that actually wants to work with you. So just thread with caution. There was something else that I was picking up on, but I, it literally just slipped my mind. And I hope um, it comes back to me so I can make sure that I'm giving the full messages to you all. But there is something being balanced out. Um, some type of good karma is playing out because there's some type of truth that has been revealed, some type of clarity that people have been hiding or trying to hide. So there could be like a tower or just a big revelation going on behind the scenes. People are realizing that there's somebody or a group of people that have been working really hard together behind the scenes to track you, keep you stuck, keep you binded. You could have some type of king of cups out here that's being exposed, some type of truth being exposed about him and what he's been investing in. This guy could have a lot of legal issues coming in as well, I'm telling you. This could be someone with this ten of cups out here and the justice card out here. This could be someone that you more than likely had a family with, so this could be someone from your past or this could be somebody's friend that they see as family. Someone has been doing something for a very long time, trying to hide uh, who you are, the truth about you, or to even hide his emotions when it comes to you. So this will be like a narcissist pretending like he never had feelings for you, but behind the scenes, he's been doing things to block you from making any type of connections with anyone else so if you have like an emperor or a king trying to come into your life he's been doing something behind the scenes to make sure that you and that emperor do not connect because this king of cups does not want any type of justice playing out in your life it's that somebody want somebody whoever this king of cups is 
he wants people to see that your life did not amount to anything uh, since you left him or he left you. Maybe he even told people you left him. But with this Five of Cups out here, it looks that you may have left this person that, because it's showing that they lost some type of connection. So he's going through some type of remorse. Uh, especially when it comes to you, maybe wanting to have some type of family uh, reconciliation with you. It's like, hey, I know who you are now. I want to fix things with you and move forward. But it looks like it's a no from the universe because there are possibly things this masculine did behind the scenes um, to interfere with your life, your family, maybe your children. If you have any with the Ten of Cups out here, I see two kids on here. You could have two or more kids. You could have one kid. It doesn't matter. But there's something this masculine was more than likely doing to interfere with your foundation, your security, your connections, your offers, and things of that nature. And he could be out here in pain because when he tries to come towards you, this is going to be your energy towards him, standing your ground, being very defensive, defending yourself. And I don't think you're being defensive as far as being rude, spiteful, or bitter. I think it's just that you're over the situation and you're wishing this person well with the fact that you're showing up as the seven of wands in the upright. You're literally just protecting yourself from this person because you don't want nothing to do with them. This is one of those situations where it's like an ex is taking reckless actions behind the scenes and collaborating with people to cause your burdens, to block some type of offer from coming into you, um, trying to sabotage you, destroy you, um, and only for all of those things to get exposed or for something to come back and bite him in the behind or her behind. And now they want to come back to you and they said, no, that's not an option. The universe is not allowing this person towards you. You could be someone that has healed and things like that. And this person is hoping that they can mend things with you. And I still don't even get like a genuine intention from this person. Like they could have emotions for you that they've been hiding for a long time. But why they're really, really wanting to get with you is not something that is genuine. You need to walk away from this person because they come with a lot of burdens and things of that nature. They're not sincere. The truth is that this person is heartbroken over you, but they want to keep pretending like they don't feel anything for you. They don't care about you, but they're in a lot of pain, especially with the fact that they're finding out that you, you are someone in the upright. This person may have partnered up with other people to smear your character, defame you. I don't know if they were offered money or something, tried to bring you some type of legal issues or went and got married with this ten of cups out here and now the truth is out or maybe there's a couple or a family that's telling this masculine the truth about himself or about a situation that you are actually in the upright and people do actually like what it is you do or have to say people do find you to be very intelligent what this masculine was trying to do with a lot of other people is to isolate you and have you be rejected by the whole world because you refuse to get back with this person and they feel very burdened with the fact that uh, um, you don't want to get back with them. It's that like somebody wants to come in and say, hey, I've healed, but they haven't. They're still going to a, through a tower. Someone may have lost everything, so they haven't healed. He's still toxic. He's trapped in some type of karmic relationship, living in fear of you partnering up with somebody else. And this is exactly what he's about to witness. Um, from what I'm seeing is that you will be getting into a union and this union will be something that's in the upright and both of you will be investing in one another. You could be receiving some type of promotion, which is your karma, your good justice playing out. So things are being balanced for you. And this masculine is heartbroken behind the scenes. Also your strength, something about your strength, uh, it bothers this masculine is that I think he has been expecting something to be over a long time ago that you would have given up on life, maybe reach out to him or her, but you haven't done that. You've kept investing in yourself. I told you all oh, this community is sending someone in to give you some type of friendship. Uh, and that's because they know there's a solid commitment, a solid offer from another institution that's in the upright that wants to work with you, but they want you to sign some type of contract with them so that you can be binded to them.
So be very cautious. If something, also if I someone go into the penitentiary, I've been picking up on, and I don't know what that specifically is in regards to. I don't know if someone was hired to do something and they're gonna get cut, or someone has been doing something and they have gotten cut, so they're going to the penitentiary for quite a long time. Whatever it is, there is somebody going to the penitentiary and it is a justice uh, for you that you may not be aware of. The truth is out and it has people very angry, uh, very pissed off. You could have a Knight of Cups, whoever the Knight of Cups is, and it's crazy because I had mentioned that someone was sending a Knight of Cups, right? And this is what came out. They gave him some type of finance, right, advancement for him to come and give you some type of offer, some type of, I don't know if it's a friendship, love offer, uh, but he's disappointed because this person may know that you are very gifted and you're going to see right through them. So I don't even know why they accepted this offer. I'm telling you why they accepted this offer. No one will ever know because this is someone that knows. They know the truth, what that is, a source. They know the truth that you are going to see right through them. This King of Cups also from your past wants to come in and give you an offer. And not, neither of these offers are solid. But you are actually supposed to be receiving an offer from an emperor. And you have these rugrats that want to come in and give you some type of offer so that the emperor doesn't have a chance to come close to you. And it doesn't look like that's what's going to be happening. It's a no. No, 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 no. You're not accepting anything. From these people okay they're all watching you i'm telling you someone is in a lot of pain watching you looking you up studying you trying to figure out how they can get in contact with you how they can come in your energy how they can get to you does anybody know where my empress live uh his used to be empress that doesn't belong to him anymore does anybody know where my empress lives? Does anybody have my empress's number? He's very determined to come towards you regardless of how fearful he is about you rejecting him. But it says somebody is in denial that a contract between you and him are over. He's looking for you. I mean looking for you. If you have a social media platform or multiple social media platforms with this page of source out here, you best believe this person is looking for you, been causing blockages and still missing your life and things like that, lying about you. Uh, he may even be in remorse uh, at the fact that he lied on you, may have partnered up possibly with an ex or somebody else to cause blockages for you and things like that. And maybe you spoke your truth um, and it has led to some type of problem for him and other people. You could have a queen of swords out here as well going uh there's some type of betrayal this woman is doing some type of malicious plan to either have you taken out have you trapped like someone is very bothered by your energy and what i'm being told is that this could be like a false practitioner within a community very false very dark very manipulative uh she's also investing in this Knight of Cups coming towards you to give you some type of distressing news or distressing offer. This Three of Swords is out here before this Knight of Pentacles because there's something disturbing about this offer that's coming in. It's like, you know, like, I don't it, think of like someone giving you like a page of Pentacles offer and then it's like, mm, this is not enough. And then they said, oh, well, let's boost it to a Knight of Pentacles. And it's like, no, it's still not solid because you're someone that's very, like, there's something that these people are feeling to see about what it is you do. And because this woman, this queen of swords, is not as intellectual as she should be, especially for her age. She's not seeing things clearly. So this is why she's making these mediocre moves where she thinks that she can send someone in with a knight of cups, knight of pentacles energy. And it's going to be the, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, thank you so much for all this money. Oh my goodness. But it's a no. Because you know the truth about what these people are up to. There's something where it's like, this queen of swords, yeah, she could choose to be intellectual, but this is not someone that applies herself in the way that she should. Instead, this is someone that invests her lot of her time into being malicious, being dark, being wicked, insecure. This is someone that's very hateful for absolutely no reason. They're sabotaging your work behind the scenes, paying people to sabotage you behind the scenes. And this is also deter you of your path and to block some type of connection from coming into being. This all has to do with uh, some type of connection, job offer, and there's something about like an industry. 
These people invest into things, but they don't know exactly what it is they are investing into. So it's like, let's say you have like people that want to invest into, let's say the crystal, the crystal industry or something, but they don't really know if they're going to have a good return on investments, right? But they're just kind of playing Russian roulette and just kind of doing this, doing that, right? They say, um, oh, we'll do this one, let's do that one. But it's not really going the way that they want to. They're not getting a good return on investment. If they have somebody like you on their team, you can tell them exactly what to invest in and what to avoid so that they're not losing a lot of money, right? This Queen of Swords reversed. She's not able to do that. She's been lying to these people for a very long time. This is someone who's a liar and very dark. Very, very dark. Okay, maybe very even angry um, at an emperor for making some type of decision to give you some type of position. And it's leading to some type of downfall for her or whoever she's been working with. Uh, so it's something that a lot of them are very angry about. You got a lot of people that are just angry at you receiving some type of offer uh, because they've done quite a lot to make sure you don't receive it. Um, so I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss anything in here. Um, but you could have someone in the upright coming towards you. I think also what it is is that they want you to see this Knight of Cups as someone that's upright, someone that's your friend, someone that is uh, looking out for you, has uh, fun memories of you, but this person is trapped in this institution as well. So he was more than likely initiated in whatever institution this is. They have some type of uh, oath that more than likely they take with one another, and he is binded to some type of contract with these people as well, so he can't exactly just leave. Um, so there's something like that. This is not your friend. I don't think this person has done anything to you that you need to like be alarmed of. But this will be someone like think of like being in school and you have people that are like you have a bully or a group of people bullying you. This will be one of those people that will stand by and watch it all play out and won't say or do anything about it, right? Um, this is one of those. And this could be even someone that could be on the dark side. Like, if you were to tell him, like, hey, did you know Maria did this to me or Mary did this to me? He'll be like, yep, and I loved all of it. I loved every bit of it. So this person is not your friend. I think this is just how they present themselves to the world. So just be very cautious with this masculine that's been sent to you to give you this offer. It's a fictitious offer. There's something very sinister behind this offer. Uh, maybe at some point, even if, oh, that's what it was. Remember I said I had forgot something else. Now I remember. Thank you. There is something where this woman that's sending him, she may end up presenting herself to you to give you this offer and she's this this woman is sinister i don't know if there's another word to use and emphasize or reiterate how sinister this woman is but this is someone very sinister does not care what she got to do to have money all she cares about is money so do not accept an offer from these people they are very dark very wicked they may even want to tell you that you have a misconception about what it is they do, what they stand for. You don't have a misconception. These are dark people, okay? Maybe not everybody in the company is dark or in the organization is dark, but on a, a grand scale, the majority, there's some type of ill intent, some type of malicious intent. There are people within this community that are not aware of what has been going on with you. Um, and these people behind the scenes, but there are people who are aware and the ones that are aware are and that have been participating They don't care what happens to you. All they know is they need the fee off of you You have some type of skill or gift that can help them and they see you kind of like an inanimate object that they can use for their own gains and you're not an inanimate object. You are a person that's gifted okay you are a light being don't let anybody make you feel like you are some type of inanimate object and people can just treat you anyhow if they want to utilize your gift then they need to pay you for those gifts for those services okay it's not something where you're about to sit in a company and they're mistreating you or playing in your face because 
that's not what you're here for. No amount of money is worth your time for that. So if somebody is coming in towards you to give you an offer, it needs to be something solid. They're trying to cause you some type of stagnation and blockages so that they can sabotage you. And I mean like take you out. I don't mean like just destroy you and you're out here in the cold. No, I mean like take you out of this realm. So they're trying to dismantle your protection. If you have someone that's protecting you right now, they're trying to remove that protection. So this is why they have this Knight of Cups coming in to give you some type of offer. Uh, and if you're foolish enough to go and put yourself in these people's energy or their environment, they're going to do everything to make sure they take you out. Basically, it's like going back to an environment you know it's not safe for you. Um, and if you go there, it's not going to be safe for you. You're not safe there. People are going to be doing things and plotting against you, even to trap you in this organization. If they decide not to analyze you, it's going to be something where they're going to figure out how they can bind you to this organization and you're never able to leave because I'm picking up on the fact that a lot of the people within this organization, they're not able to leave. They're stuck there when they try to. There are opportunities being blocked for them. So they're not able to maneuver their way through those things. They're not able to get out of it or something of that nature. So just thread with caution with an offer coming from a Knight of Cups. You will probably more than likely know who this Knight of Cups is when you see them. This is someone that, uh, like I said, they come across as shy. Uh, I, see, I saw like a, this person is like no more than, what is this? Let's say like 5'8 to 5'10. 5'8 to 5'10. Uh, karma complexion. Uh, someone could wear their beard full. Uh, hopefully he doesn't go shaving it now because I said that. Has a very thick set of hair. Um, this is someone that when it comes to women, there is something where... Like, I don't think this brother is bad. There's something where it's like this brother is looking for love, but he looks for it in the wrong places. Like, he's looking for some type of loyalty. But where he's looking for loyalty, he's never going to find it. And he has, like, I don't know if this is like an uncle he talks to or a superior within this organization that he talks to. Like, he tracked about his love life, his relationship, how... He makes this people this woman an offer and it turns out that she was fake she was fake and she was lying, misrepresenting herself, something of that nature. Like this brother, he wants love, but where he's looking for love is not where he's going to find it. And this could be someone, like I said, was initiated already. So you need to be careful. Uh someone could have been with a company for maybe ten years. Uh, typically, if you go into a company and people have been there for more than two years, you need to be very cautious of what it is that's going on in that community. There could be like some type of cold, of clothing like mentality going on where everybody knows each other. What you say to one person is going to end up in the next year. And I've been in a company like that before where in order for me to study the company, I went about my time with them in a very specific way to understand who knew who, who talked to who. And at the end of my time at that company, I realized that it was a whole like well, operation within an operation. And I was just like, chuck those deuces. I don't got time to be out here being set up or nothing like that because it doesn't look like you all have any boundaries of what you would do to people uh, uh, to keep your secrets. And I don't got time to be out here with... Uh, so it's something like that. Someone has been in a company for a long time and he's aware of how these people move. He may have ended up partaking in something. Maybe they uh, um, coerce him into it um, or maybe they manipulated him into it and made him promises that he was going to get a lot of money if he did something, if he partook in something, but the money hasn't come. Now they're using this either promotion or this advancement or whatever this is to send him to you so that he can lure you back into this company so that they can do whatever it is they want to do with you or to you. So just very much thread with caution. You do have maybe like an emperor that may want to work with you or uh, someone in the courts. Like it's different for all of you. You could have an emperor that wants to work with you, someone in the court system, 
someone that you don't know you have a solid offer coming in but it's not from these people like there's something very dark and sinister and with the fact that this ten of swords is coming out with this two of swords it is something very alarming like something very malicious and this queen of swords i'm picking up on this is someone that you probably need to stay clear of this is someone that manipulates everybody around her and I don't know if they don't know that, but this woman is not of integrity. There's something where it's like she puts herself out to be in, like someone of high honor. She puts herself out to be someone that is a pillar of the community. That's someone that cares about people. Someone that is like a mentor. She's not a mentor. This is someone very vicious, and I don't think people realize that. The Queen of Pentacles herself it's vicious it's sinister but this queen of swords this is the one that you need to be aware of this one is very desperate and has something to hide whatever she's trying to hide it is very dark and she knows that she has some type of karma coming for her like she's about to be getting a taste of her own medicine this is why she's giving this person some type of offer this promotion to come to you and Give you some type of bad news, even cloud your judgment, tell you that what you know to be true is not true. This is basically some type of mind manipulation, MK or track on a thing taking place. Is that, oh, I know you think it's this way, but it's not. This is really what we were doing. No, 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 no. The truth is, they betrayed you, they tried to hurt you, they tried to take you out, they tried to destroy you in every way, shape, and form. Because of her and a few other people behind the scenes that have been working together, they despise you for who you are. She ain't got no gifts. She is intimidated by your gifts. She told people that maybe you're not intelligent, and it turns out that you are intelligent because you're showing up as the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords are people that are very intelligent. With the Ace of Swords out here, baby, please. She, she needs to find somebody else to play with. But whoever this Queen of Swords is, Stay away from this heifer. She got a lot of problems coming in. The Queen of Pentacles, this is someone that acts from behind the scenes. She's very discreet with what it is she does, but it's very unhinged. If you manage to step on her toes and she gets sick of you, you are a problem to her. She has her way of eliminating you, getting rid of you, or causing you problems. So they're, they're all, all these rock rats, knuckleheads, whatever it is, they got problems. Stay clear of them. They're watching you. They're in distress knowing that let's see let's say like you are amongst a group of people and they don't know what you can do um and they're all taking turns just doing things to you right trying to make you feel like unwanted you know how bullies move they want to they want you to feel like you're worthless you're not nothing uh nobody needs you you don't matter to anybody nobody wants you around you're a problem or in reality they're the ones causing problems right so they've done all of this nonsense to you. Meanwhile, they're stalking you online and things like that, right? Only for them to find out that you are actually legit. You are actually who you put yourself out to be. You are the real deal, right? Now they need you for something, but you're not around. And you don't want to be around these people because they've left a bad taste in your mouth, right? They've taken from you. This, they've blocked opportunities for, uh, 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 from you. They've blocked you from receiving things that you should be receiving from either the court system or someone in the upright trying to block opportunities and things like that. But now they need you and you're nowhere to be found. And even if they find you, you don't want to be associated with these people. It's something like that. So it's like a two-edged sword. It's like a double-edged sword, right? They need you, but they don't want you around. But they need you, but you're not coming around. It's something like that. So anyway, just thread with caution because, baby, I don't know what this energy is, but I don't even want to be in it for too long. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read and goodbye for now.